Boom! What's up you guys? It's Royce Jacob and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about my top three favorite stock picks, small cap stocks to be precise, for the month of November, even going into December in the new year. Okay, so let's get straight into it. You guys know the drill. In front of us is an infographic I made with the three stocks we'll be discussing today. We'll go over the stocks themselves one by one, a brief description of what the stock is and what the company does, and a brief description or summary of why I'm personally bullish on the stock. After we do that, again, one by one, we will jump into trading view in the back and talk technicals and price targets over the course of the next month and again, even going into the new year. Okay, so that's the plan of attack, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Before we do get into the specifics, please let me know in the comments down below what is your number one stock pick for the month of November? And give me as much as you want. Okay, so first things first, Riot Platforms. I'm sure many of you are pumped <laughs> to see this on here, and I just noticed that there's a little typo in there, but hey, that's all right. You guys get the you guys get get the gist of it. Riot Platforms. If for some reason you don't know and you're watching this video, <laughs> there's another typo, man. But that's all right. Riot is a Bitcoin mining company. And uh, as you guys know by now, Riot is on a rampage. Bitcoin is on a rampage. And more so, the king is leading the kingdom forward. And um, I can't see this slowing down anytime soon. So bullish on Bitcoin, bullish on Bitcoin miners. We're not going to be looking at Bitcoin in this video, but Bitcoin looking pretty damn strong right now. Uh, our number one, just a quick shout out, Render Token is outperforming most of the market, so you'd love to see that. Shout out to Render, shout out to Riot, and uh, they also announced earnings on November 13th, which is pretty exciting. Okay, so talking technicals. Riot, I almost said Render, Riot is, I mean, not looking the best considering bitcoin has been looking so strong and bitcoin has broken a few very very significant technical lines of resistance and uh, broken above its 200 day moving average some significant just indicators that technical traders look at riot has been performing pretty poorly all things considered but at the same time small cap stocks growth stocks pretty much the entirety of the stock market is has been struggling over the past i mean month or two now it's been in a real funk so it's not surprising that uh, Riot as, a, as an equity is as a company, because that's ultimately what a stock is, 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 is the trajectory or proje uh, projected trajectory or projected progress of a company. Um, that, that's what differentiates Bitcoin from Bitcoin miners. But price of Bitcoin is going up uh, regardless of, you know, energy costs and some of the gripes against Bitcoin miners right now. And, um, you know, just things that will eat into their profit like those energy costs. Um, the price of Bitcoin going up will ultimately positively impact the price of Bitcoin miners. And uh, as many of you know, Riot is my number one go-to Bitcoin miner, okay? So technically speaking, this line of, if you guys watched my most recent video talking about Riot and Bitcoin, I did point out this line of conservative resistance, I'm calling it this yellow line right here, this green line, Again, noticing using the touch the top touch points uh, uh, of this candle wick right here does create the absolute line of resistance. And again, you guys, this is just my personal terminology, but this conservative line of resistance, this yellow line is using multiple touch points. It's just two, but still is better than uh, just one, especially one like this right here. And uh, as you can see, we've had a, a hard time closing any candles at all over a uh, four hour candles, I should say, over this conservative line of resistance. So that has proven true, but ultimately, I do think it's very possible that Riot makes its way up to absolute resistance over the next, you know, to buy early November, November 2nd, November 3rd. That would lead to a 25% increase over right now. Bitcoin is looking pretty good over the course of this weekend as I'm recording the video. So I expect us to kick off November on a strong foot, uh, not only for Bitcoin, but for Riot as well. And uh, I will say that my first price target is going to be around $12. Granted, we test this line of resistance. Uh, over the next couple of weeks in early November. Okay, from there, I will say that I do think it's possible that Riot does play out this head and shoulders pattern, which would actually be bearish. But as far as the short to medium term is concerned, I do think it's possible that we make our way up to uh, what I'd say like the parallel uh, or, or symmetrical 
range on this opposing shoulder. So if that were to happen, that would take us up to just under $14, like $13.70, $13.80. And uh, I do think it's very possible that we see that at some point in mid-November, maybe even leading into earnings if we're lucky. So that would result in a 45% increase. Okay, so that's right. Let's keep moving forward. But before we do move forward, if you guys do want to know how I'm trading names like Riot or Redwire or Weight Watchers like or WW International or all the other names that are in the portfolio, C3 AI, Render Token, if you want daily updates on these stocks, on these cryptocurrencies, on my thoughts on the markets overall, that's the first link down below. First link in the description, okay? My complete portfolio and daily newsletter product. With this, you get, again, a complete breakdown of my entire personal portfolio, call options, put options, stock positions, cryptocurrency positions, which I do update every single trading day. And with every every update, I do send out one of these newsletters, which I want to read over because it this newsletter I sent out on Thursday, so a few days before recording this, this really plays into the subject of this video, which is my favorite small caps and why I think small caps will really outperform most over the course uh, or over the remaining remainder of 2023 going into 2024. Okay, so we'll read over that after. Get the plug out of the way first. First link in the description once again, 15 bucks a month, 40 bucks for every three months. Try it free for seven days. And if you don't like it, you can just bail out. But the reason I have a free trial in place is because I'm confident in the product I provide. So try it free or just sign up for one of these guys, up to you. Uh, but if you do sign up, I appreciate you, and uh, I look forward to having you over at Waves Capital, okay, the real Waves Cap. Uh, so that out of the way, let's read over this once again before we dive into Redwire and Weight Watchers, or WW International, whatever. So some major silver lining on a day where the NASDAQ and S&P were getting absolutely obliterated, even the Dow, legacy heavy Dow. The Russell 2000 was green, okay, and this is a trend that I love to see. So that is the major silver lining, which tells me that small cap stocks are becoming increasingly appealing to investors. Small caps remain historically undervalued relative to large caps. And I believe the negative sentiment around big tech following disappointing earnings could actually be good news for the little guys. Capital needs to find a home somewhere. And I think that somewhere could very well be small to mid caps and hyper growth sectors. I believe small cap stocks have a very bright future ahead of them, and that'd clearly be good news for us given the positioning of the Waves portfolio, which, if you guys are part of the, if you guys are part of Waves Capital, you know, are almost always consistent of small to mid cap stocks, even some like micro caps, like penny stocks. Okay, I believe WW International after this correction is is considered a micro cap, but we'll see, right? Um, which consists mostly of small caps. I also think that our upcoming earnings plays will act as fuel to the fire. So again, I just said Riot was announcing earnings. That's very, very bullish. We got November 13th, November 7th for Redwire, and November 2nd coming up real quick for WW. So I, 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 I mean, I just sent out one of these similar infographics with all of our Waves earnings plays for the month of November. It's pretty stacked. So again, if you want to ride, if you want to ride with me, if you want to ride with Waves Capital, Last time, that's the first link in the description. Okay, so that said, let's take a look at our number two. These I wouldn't really say these are in any specific order, you guys, but um, let's take a look at our number two for the purposes of just this video. Redwire Corp. Redwire, and this one's a little more specific. I actually did record a video on Redwire a couple of months ago. Evidently, <laughs> my, my, price, uh, my price targets at the technical analysis there kind of just went into the shitter because of what's gone on in the macro. But uh, Redwire is still very, very promising from a fundamental perspective. I'm really excited about this play over the longer term, medium to longer term, and in the short term as well because for, uh, for technical reasons and earnings on November 7th. So I'll just get that out of the way. But Redwire develops and manufactures mission critical space solutions and high reliability components for the space economy. So I do recommend you just go take a look at their website for yourself if, if that intrigues you. Uh, if you're investing in it, for sure, do more research. And again, I went over, uh, I did kind of a deep dive in that video I posted a couple of months ago. So go check that out if you're interested in Redwire. Disregard the price targets in that video, okay? But as far as the short term is concerned, Redwire is looking very, very appealing to me. I mean, yeah, I think I recorded the video like around here after. We caught it right before the big pop and then, I mean, that was the most... That was one of the more frustrating plays 
I've probably ever experienced in my entire life of trading, which says a lot because I've traded a lot of these small cap stocks and this was super whack. Okay. This was heartbreaking almost, but just don't get emotional. It's the easiest way to play it. Okay. So right wire again, has had a very, very volatile 2023 so far, as have many micro cap, small cap stocks. Redwire is a micro cap with a market cap of 170 million. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good micro cap stock, small cap stock with a strong story and strong fundamentals. Even Redwire is like, when you look at their, like the pace that they're growing, like their revenue, they're putting up numbers, you guys. This past two quarters, 57 million, 60 million. For and they're, and they're becoming meaningfully closer to profitability for a stock or for a company that's worth 170 million dollars is pretty damn insane. Like, this is like just again, given the macroeconomic backdrop, things are different, but just from speaking from my knowledge of the market, stating back as far as I can think, this is historically very, very undervalued. Okay, as far as like just forward earnings go. Okay, so that said. Fundamentals aside, I think the fundamental setup going into earnings on November 7th is very strong. I do think that uh, technically it's extremely, extremely likely that we do retest this line of broken support you can see right here as new resistance. And this is very conservative. Like you even put that like right there. So this previous line of support, long-term support on Redwire's ascending channel dating back to, you know, like mid mid summer of this year uh broken below that haven't yet retested this line of previous uh supports as new resistance i think it's extremely extremely likely that this happens uh prior to the end of the year the sooner the better though of course <laughs> the sooner the better uh but let's say this does happen uh just say following earnings um Earnings are pretty, even if earnings are decent, I do think that that could catalyze a move up because we've seen such a significant sell off. And again, the, if they're on the same revenue runner, like if they're on the same trajectory, then I can't imagine that the stock doesn't see some appreciation. Uh, if we do see a climb up to test this line of broken support after earnings, that would lead to, you know, like a 38 to 40% climb up to 365, 370. Okay. So, I do think that it's very possible that Redwire sees this, even if it happens before earnings, which again, the sooner the better. Um, we've seen some crazy moves in the past. Again, we saw a 63% move up in 10 days uh, just back in July. And uh, obviously we saw, let's get a price range here from September 13th to you know September 15th, two days, we saw like a 40% climb. So it's not out of the realm of possibility at all to see moves like this happen in just a few days and definitely a week or two. So I do think it's uh, very likely, especially in the... Uh, in the scenario of a strong earnings report, the red wire retests this line of broken sports new resistance. As always, if you're trading this, draw these trend lines on your charts for yourself. They're stick for your trend lines. After all my years of trading, I found these to be almost hands down the most effective. So if you don't, if you don't believe in trend lines, simple trend lines, you simply haven't been trading enough. That's my opinion. Okay. Weight Watchers, WW International, last but not least, right off the bat, very, very similar technically, but I just realized that we have to read over this. Weight Watchers is a direct beneficiary of the Ozempic weight loss wave. Uh, the reason I'm bullish on it, it's oversold earnings are on November 2nd. So, WW International, if you've been a part of Waves Cap, you would know, and I said this in my last video as well, in my last uh, top three picks, I guess. WW has been like the dark horse of 2023. This has been, just because we played options correctly on this, uh, on this stock, this has been like one of the best plays I've had in, in recent memory. And uh, it's pretty crazy because you'd never suspect that of the Weight Watchers. But as soon as they acquired the telehealth company sequence, which was capable of prescribing Ozempic, saw earlier this year, just kind of like the the trend in hip circles or in some, some of these circles that uh, I, I'm aware of, just the Ozempic picking up. People are eating Ozempic for breakfast, okay? That's led me to believe or led me to be extremely bullish on Weight Watchers, which is a small cap play. Okay, not micro cap. They have a market cap of $630 million right now. So not necessarily a micro cap, definitely a small cap stock, sub billion dollars, definitely a smaller cap stock. Um, I think that this next earnings report on November 2nd could, could be pretty insane. If I'm being completely honest, could blow expectations out of the water. And uh, even if not, technically speaking, I think that Weight Watchers, similar to that same uh, principle, technical principle we just talked about with Redwire, has just broken 
below a very, very significant line of support on a very strong ascending channel that's been in play for, uh, since April. So that's kind of heartbreaking, to be honest, from a technical perspective. But on the bright side, as far as a short-term trade goes, a nice classic swing trade, maybe even leading into earnings, we could see a, a spike up to retest this line of broken support as new resistance. And I think it's very, very likely, especially after earnings, I think earnings, if they're as good as I believe they could be, could take us all the way back up to test like the top line of resistance on the shorter term channel and definitely the long term channel. So best case scenario for for Weight Watchers in the sense that in the case that they beat earnings or blow earnings out of the water, I should say, would be like a fifteen dollar share price. And uh, again, I I want to I want to make clear that it's possible. That's why I have this back here. You can see we climbed a hundred and forty percent in a week back in April when that that sequence news was uh, released, and. Uh, there's no reason to believe that it couldn't happen again in the case that they're seeing strong fundamental momentum, which I do think could be brought to light by this earnings report. Okay, so as always, you guys, my money is where my mouth is. Always go do your own research. Do your own DD. Make your own decisions. You know the drill. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope um, you're excited for the month ahead of us. This past month has been pretty shitty, to say the least. But, you know... Smooth seas, never made for skilled sailors, and uh, always stand tall. Keep your eyes on the prize, and uh, you know, keep a smile on your face. I appreciate you guys watching. I look forward uh, to seeing you in Waves Capital if you choose to join, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.